So if you're the type of person who pursues the consumption of red pills, uh, you're a connoisseur of unpopular and shocking information and uh, a fan of seeing behind the curtain, it can be quite hard separating yourself from the general narratives that most people take for granted um, and which also allow them to find fulfillment and meaning in life. I think generally this type of thing is a combination of disagreeableness as a personality trait and high IQ. You're disagreeable so you wish to forge your own path, you're high IQ so you probably have the raw intelligence to be able to conceive of different information and to accept new ideas as they come into your worldview. I've noticed there's quite a few people in this camp who can be quite negative or struggle for meaning, you know, in that Nietzschean sense that, uh, you know, the ubermensch, the overman, the greater man or the greater human, to paraphrase Justin Trudeau, the greater person, the greater person being <laughs> would uh, una be unable to accept the life and meaning that's handed to them through religion and culture and nationalism and all these sort of things and so would essentially need to create their own greater meaning in life. Uh, no small task for sure but like I said there's quite a few people I think who sort of lack this or lack the um, the awareness of needing to do this so I wanted to share a thought that I, I passed on as a bit of advice which admittedly sometimes I do need to take myself as well but I think I am getting good at putting my own words into practice. In any case, this was my thought. If you're a high IQ person, then you can find yourself in the predicament that you see through most of the common methods of providing life meaning to people, religion, culture, etc, etc. But high IQ also gives you more agency in the world as well which gives you more of the raw ability to achieve more materially than the average person, but also the ability to achieve more profound meaning as well through greater and deeper understanding. But nothing is free, and so the discovery of deeper understanding and meaning and eventually more profound happiness will be the result of your agency and IQ, because those things have precluded you from having them simply given to you like everyone else. So many high IQ people seem to engage in a kind of intellectual freeloading where when faced with normality we said, no thank you, I'm not going to think and act like everyone else, I'm going to think for myself and forge my own path because I'm smarter than everyone else. Then when far enough down this own path they turn around and say, no one is giving me meaning therefore life is meaningless and corrupt. Well I think the solution is to stop being a freeloader. If you have chosen the path of thinking for yourself, don't simply give up when it gets tough. Don't take the benefits of thinking for yourself, then complain when the reciprocal responsibility of thinking for yourself becomes due. You have chosen agency, so the flip side is that you have to become responsible for your own meaning and happiness. Human beings with much less intelligence and ability than you have marched endlessly up the mountains of impossible tasks and endeavors. So don't become weak and give up in the face of your own. So really the last part of that is just simply saying human beings have faced such incredible challenges and hurdles over the evolution of our species and culture and civilizations. Um, and one very freeing thought, which I think I've gotten from uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson, is when life is tough, the realization that it's not meant to be easy. It's, it's not meant to always be a downhill stroll. You know, or as another person said it, if it was easy to do, everyone would do it and then it wouldn't be special. So if you're a person with higher IQ, which I think is a precursor to higher levels of self-awareness, this also gives you a, a greater potential for self-mastery and therefore greater agency in the world. But the cost is that you cannot take meaning simply from the prescribed uh, vehicles for meaning through like I said religion and culture and you have to do it yourself but it's a great shame upon facing this challenge to simply give up and you know resort to nihilism um, you cannot give up in the face of challenge human beings or successful human beings have never done that um, if nothing else 
even if you don't believe that has been done before and I think it certainly has but even if you don't believe anyone has created meaning and happiness out of your particular situation then you should strive to be the first one to do it so that you can be an example for other people I mean obviously this is a bit of a circular reasoning because then you'd say well what is the benefit or what's the meaning of of um, me doing that for myself if, if life is inherently meaningless and useless it kind of reminds me of um, when the Christians would talk about meaning or morality they'd say well if there's no God then the universe is meaningless and I always countered this thinking with the idea that just because meaning isn't woven into the fabric of the universe or it isn't objectively applied throughout all of time and space does not mean that it can't be meaningful to me and it seemed that the Christian perspective to me or the religious perspective in general needed to have meaning be objective and objectively discoverable for all people before they would accept that as a personal meaning but I accepted quite a few years ago that no I can create meaning for me as a conscious human being um, I can create my own meaning and so I think many people who are red-pilled and high IQ this is the challenge we face but I would encourage you to not shy away from that challenge and remember simply that life is not meant to be easy and that anything worth doing is not easy and so what that implies is at the end of this great task this um, unpleasant task of working through your worldview and finding your own happiness and meaning we have the capacity for greater understanding and therefore greater appreciation and possibly also more profound happiness and fulfillment so if your own happiness is of a value to you I think that you should be pursuing that